There's a lot more smoke coming out of the volcano now. Good morning! Today we're going to Kagoshima and Sakurajima, which is an active volcano. We're going on the Shinkansen and we're going to go right to the end of the line. Kagoshima is right near the bottom of Kyushu, so it's right at the bottom of the main section of Japan's islands. Here's the ferry that goes across to Sakurajima. It's got a cute logo. It says Princess Marine. And there's our first look at Sakurajima, the volcano over there. Here we are on the ferry over to Sakurajima. It said you don't need a ticket, you just pay when you get off. And it's 160 yen for adults and 80 yen for children. Up here it's open air, so we've got a nice view of the volcano as we cross over. The ferry has a level for cars. <laughs> the ferry's got a level for cars as well, so if you're hiring a car, you can drive over. And I've heard that driving around the island is a really good way to be able to see everything because it's not all within walking distance. This other ferry is called the Sakura Ferry. They've all got cute names. There's got some vegetable tempura that looks like some daikon and some vegetables. There's a little bit of miso and some uh, orange jelly, some mikan. This is the dipping sauce, and some wasabi, and some rice. And Phil's got an udon soup. Are the noodles orange? Yes, they are. For saying Japanese portions are supposed to be small, that was a really big meal. It seemed like a lot to have the rice as well as the noodles. I couldn't eat it all. The miso was uh, orange flavour, which is a local speciality. It's a type of um, tiny mandarin orange. On here they have this small, I don't know if they're the smallest, but they're very small mandarin oranges. And they also have the largest daikon radishes in the world. Now we're deciding what to do. There's some walking trails around here. There's also a bus route that goes around this section and another bus route that goes around the whole island. This booklet also has the rules of Sakurajima. Fun to know. It says, don't run away when the eruption occurs. <laughs> you might get caught by lava. It says, don't be surprised if you get hit by volcanic ash. Apparently it erupts every day. Don't worry too much of a huge eruption. <laughs> by the side of the road here, you can see the ash collecting. I've heard that people around here can't dry their washing outside because it gets ash on it. Also, the Family Mart sign is brown instead of the usual colourful one. That's to blend in with the brown of the volcano. There's a lot more smoke coming out of the volcano now. Earlier I wasn't sure if it was clouds or smoke from the other direction, but that is definitely smoke. Look at the tops of all the street lamps are like little volcanoes and then they've got daikon radishes on as well. This is one of the shelters. If there's a big eruption, you can hide in here and be safe as long as the lava doesn't come through this window. Shelter 28. It's in a very convenient place. Next to nothing. <laughs> So if you just happen to be walking along this road when there's an eruption, <laughs> we'll be okay right now. I wanted to go on the lava walking trail uh, by the sea where you can walk on a trail through where all the lava is cooled into rocks. But it's shut for construction at the moment. Boo! The lava trail split in half, so there's a middle entrance. So we thought we'd try and find it and see if they're doing construction on that section as well. And they're not, by the looks of it. The entrance is right here. 
Oh, it's Sandy. Ashy. Yeah. <laughs> Ash Angel. <laughs> we found some lava. I think all these big black rocks must be made of the lava cooled down. There's a nice view of Kagoshima across there as well. Is that thing on it a vending machine? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say Portaloo. Look, a volcano cat. Hello. <laughs> if there's some meowing from the edge of the road. We're stepping up the pace to make it to the end so we can catch the bus which goes up to an observatory. There's only one bus every hour and there's only two left today so we're going to try and make it. It's a lot of pine trees. Usually I think of pine trees as being somewhere where it's cold like in the north. It's not cold here. We think we might be going to that observatory up there which I don't think you can see. There you go. So what do you think of the lava walk? It could have a bit more lava, it's more of a pine tree walk, <laughs> but it's been nice walking by the sea. Do you think all that haze is caused by ash? Um, I don't know. It'd probably be hazy anyway. It doesn't really smell like ash. We are at the observation point. That's where we've been walking in all these pine trees. Well, there's actually loads of them. We're actually surrounded by a pine forest on all sides. We are 6.1 kilometers from the Showa crater and 5.5 kilometers from the South Peak crater and the nearest evacuation shelter is 600 meters. It's still quite a long way. Danger. This is a memorial they had to an all night concert. It's pretty cool. It must have been such a good night that they built a sculpture to commemorate. We've joined the Sakurajima Island View bus tour. It goes around the island, not the whole thing, just this area, and stops at a couple of interesting places and you get a few minutes to go out and have a look around and then hop back on and it carries on. The way the buses here seem to work is you get a ticket when you get on with a number and then at the front of the bus there's a screen. You can't see it very often here. And the numbers go up. So for the number five for us it's just 120 yen. And then as we go past each stop, it gets more expensive. We're at the Unohira Observatory now. You get a great view of the volcano. And I'm wondering, what are all these barrels on the side? Maybe they're containers to stop the rocks there? To stop an avalanche. Yeah. Now we're 3.6 kilometers and 3 kilometers from the craters. The closest you're allowed to get to them is two kilometers. There's an exclusion zone around it. And the closest visitor thing is two and a half. Nearest evacuation shelter, 5.1 kilometers. I thought 600 meters was too far. And we're closer here. <laughs> Run downhill though. <laughs> just fall down the hill. Roll. <laughs> just jump down there. <laughs> I like this logo, it's cute. <laughs> There's been eruptions since the down of history. Here's what the craters look like. I wish we could go all the way up and have a look at <laughs> It's quite windy here. <laughs> You can really tell how high up we are up here. you'll see an eruption while you're here. We haven't really seen a proper one. There was a, a time when there was more smoke coming out. We haven't seen any falling ash either. It's probably a good thing. It says it hurts if you wear contact lenses. 
There's a foot bath here so you can bathe your feet in water from the hot spring. Is it really hot? Oh wow, that is quite hot. <laughs> is it going to get hotter as I go deeper? It's quite deep. Oh no, I'm at the bottom now. <laughs> Just what you want on a hot day. No splashing in the foot bath. <laughs> it's supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> You're going to turn into a rock. <laughs> Why would I turn into a rock? That's what happens. That wasn't on the sign. <laughs> they should really warn you about that. It's all the minerals. <laughs> you become a big stalactite or stalagmite. <laughs> Tights grow up. No, tights go down. fall down, mites grow up. Well, feel those hot spring minerals. The foot bath is free and it's open from nine till sunset, so no nighttime foot baths. How are you going to dry your legs off, Amy? <laughs> By the sun, I've got nothing else. <laughs> oh no, I got my shoes wet. <laughs> your hands towels. <laughs> Smoke looks a little bit darker now. There's quite a bit of it, so this might be an eruption. We're not sure, but it might be. Do you have to run for cover? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Where's the nearest shelter? Uh, they said don't run for cover. Oh yes, <laughs> don't break the rules. Very serious. Sakurajima like news. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so we've had a really good day here on Sakurajima. It is really beautiful and it's amazing to see the volcano and know that it is really an active volcano. <laughs> That's kind of exciting. And also it's a lovely day, which has definitely helped. Um, I think if you want to come here, I would suggest a little bit more planning than I did and to get here a bit earlier in the day um, because if you want to take the tourist bus, the one that goes all the way around the island is only on twice a day and the first one is at 8.55 in the morning. Now I'm not sure many people could really get here that early but the other one's at 1.40. The other bus goes around just this section near the port and that's on once an hour. By the time we decided to take it, it was a bit too late, really. Well, we still got it. <laughs> it was almost too late. It would be a lot easier to get around the island if you hired a car, then you'd be able to see everything you wanted to. Uh, or if you got here earlier, say about 11, you'd be able to hire bikes, and then I think you probably would be able to cycle around the whole island, which would be really nice, and just stop off at the interesting points and take some pictures, have a picnic somewhere maybe. We took the bus tour around this section. <laughs> we took the bus tour around this section here by the port and went up to the Unohira Observatory. And the other main attraction on the island is right over the other side at Kurokami on the opposite side. And that is one of the shrine gates, which are normally really high, but because of the eruption, this one's buried almost up to the top and you can only see the top part sticking out the ground. So that would be really cool to see. We didn't manage to get over the other side, but if you took the bus tour that goes around the whole island, you'd be able to do that. You can get passes for the bus at the visitor center. And if you want to come here from Fukuoka, it was about an hour and a half on the Shinkansen. Then once you get to Kagoshima Chuo, which is the end of the line in Kyushu, you get the JR, what was it called? I can't remember. The JR something line, one stop along to Kagoshima station. And from there, it's about 10 minutes walk to the ferry port. The smoke's definitely darker now. I think it must be an eruption. 